Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the condenser fan motor kit on your refrigerator. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number 25 torque screwdriver, a 5 16 nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of wire strippers and crimpers, and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first thing we'll need to do before we begin this repair is to pull the refrigerator far enough forward that we can access the back of it and also to disconnect the power. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, we'll remove any screws that are holding that back panel on and we'll carefully lift that away and set it aside. We'll locate the condenser fan motor and the wire harness and we'll start by disconnecting the wire harness from the motor. Now, most of these models are as a single 5 16 screw that secures the mounting bracket to the base of the refrigerator. So we're just going to remove that screw and then just lift up on that bracket. And you need to tilt it slightly, and clear that base and pull the whole assembly straight out. Now with the assembly out, we'll next set that on a suitable work surface and we can change the motor. So our next step will be to remove the mounting screws that secure that motor to the mounting bracket. And we'll just lift that bracket off and set that aside. We'll also need to reuse the fan blade. So using our slip joint pliers, we'll just grasp that blade. We'll loosen that nut, remove it. And then pull the blade off of the motor. We can discard the old motor. Now while we have that fan blade off, it's a good opportunity for us to take that and clean it up as well as the mounting bracket. Now that we've cleaned that blade up a little bit, we're going to assemble it to the motor. So we'll take the new rubber washer that came with that replacement motor, and line it up so that the hole in it lines up with the dimple on the hub of that motor. Now with the rubber gasket in place and setting over top of that little projection, we'll line that fan blade up. And if it doesn't lie flat there, we'll take our flat blade screwdriver and just put a little pressure down on that to make a little bigger indentation in the blade so that the blade will lay flat. And we'll take that knot that was supplied with the kit, our slip joint pliers, and tighten it up. Now next we'll mount that motor in the mounting bracket. We'll pull the wire harness through the opening, then we'll line that bracket and motor up so that the harness for the motor lines up where we took the mounting screw out of the bracket. We'll use the screws that were supplied with the kit. We'll tighten all three of those screws securely and make sure that the arms on that mounting bracket flatten out against the body of the motor. Check that fan blade, make sure that we haven't bent that. Now next we'll need to prepare the wire leads from the motor to attach to the harness on the refrigerator. And you can do that either with some butt splice connectors or some arrets. Now next we'll take that wire harness that went to the old motor. And using a pair of cutters, we're just gonna cut those wires off. Strip that insulation back. And make sure we have some nice clean copper to work with there. Do the same for the opposite one. And then we can just tuck those 
out of the way for now. We'll next take the motor bracket and we're going to line that up with that channel across the bottom. And tuck that in the back. firmly into position. Tuck that foam piece up across the top. Make sure the hole lines up for the screw. We'll install that next. And then we'll connect that wire harness up. two of those together and we're going to use butt splice connectors. Make sure they're firmly inserted all the way. Crimp it tight. Make sure we have a good connection. Do the same for the other lead. I'll tuck that excess wire into the back so that it's away from the fan blade. back cover on and secure it with the screws. Now that we've reconnected the power and pushed the refrigerator back into position, our repair is complete.